Our biology can shape our perception of the attractiveness of other people. Men are rating the attractiveness of women according to the smell of those women. Now, they're not smelling them directly. They're smelling clothing that women wore for a couple of days. Men rate them as more attractive during that time, and women rate men as more attractive during that particular time as well. So this is a bi-directional effect, not just to smell the odors of those men on T-shirts. They did that but they correlated that with whether or not the shirts were worn by men that were particularly physically symmetrical. I don't know how they look, their skin, their hair, etc. but it also illustrates that their odor is a powerful cue. Today, I want to focus on core mechanisms that lead individuals to seek out other individuals with whom to mate, with whom to have children with or not, with whom to enter short or long-term relationships with, in order to illustrate just how powerfully our biology can shape our perception of the attractiveness of other people, I want to share with you the results of a couple of studies. Both studies explore how people rate other people's attractiveness. And in both studies, the major variable is that women are at different stages of their menstrual cycle. Now, in the first study, men are rating the attractiveness of women according to the smell of those women. Now, they're not smelling them directly. They're smelling clothing that women wore for a couple of days at different phases of their menstrual cycle. And what they find is that men will rate the odors of women as most attractive if those women wore those shirts, that clothing, in the pre-ovulatory phase of their cycle. Okay? So this is not to say that men do not find women attractive at other stages of their cycle. It is to say that men find women's odors particularly attractive if those odors were worn by women that are in the pre-ovulatory phase of their menstrual cycle. Now, there was also a study that was done where women at different stages of their menstrual cycle are rating the odors of men. And a similar but mirror symmetric result was found such that women who are in the pre-ovulatory phase of their menstrual cycle will rate men's odors as more attractive than at other stages of their cycle. So the simple way to put this is that there seems to be something special about the pre-ovulatory phase of a woman's menstrual cycle that makes men rate them as more attractive during that time and women rate men as more attractive during that particular time as well. So this is a bi-directional effect. The way that the second study was done where women are rating men was not just to smell the odors of those men on T-shirts. They did that but they correlated that with whether or not the shirts were worn by men that were particularly physically symmetrical. They actually had these men divided into groups. It was more of a continuum, rather, rated according to body symmetry and face symmetry. And women preferred more symmetrical men when they were doing the preference test during the pre-ovulatory phase of their cycle. So again, the point is that pre-ovulatory phase of the cycle seems to create a bi-directional mutual attractiveness. Now, also extremely interesting is that this effect does really seem to have something to do with ovulation because in both studies, they had women that were taking oral contraception or not. And what they found was if a woman is taking oral contraception, it prevented that peak in perceived attractiveness. I share with you those data to illustrate that we often think that somebody is attractive or not based on, I don't know, how they look, their skin, their hair, etc. But it also illustrates that their odor is a powerful cue.